Hello, here is Moon, and after some break in picking, because it was kind of easy, I would like now to pick this nice challenge lock that have been waiting for way too long. Um, it came in this package, saying hello there, good luck with my CL, the LK2, if you have any trouble with it, feel free to text me. Um, feedback is always welcome, please do not remove the tape on the lock without any, without picking. The SCL first, you flumple do. And there is some info on the keys, which I didn't need yet because I didn't unwrap them. Long side, short side. And the special thing about this one is that both cores are tied together. So you have to pick both sides in order to open it. So let's get it into the wise and see how exactly it works. And I must say, when I was doing it for the first time, it was quite tricky because I had no idea if they um, isolate so I can pick one core and uh, another one next, or do they mix. Turns out they do isolate, but um, figure it out. It's kind of a learning curve. So, yeah, let's get going. And I hope it will not take too long as I have picked it a couple of times and I know the bitting already. And another side effect of this course bound together is that you have to pick them in different directions. So it's the same keyway, but for this keyway, I would usually prefer to pick it counterclockwise because it kind of helps with um, counter rotating the core with the pick in this keyway. But this time it's not possible because, well, possible on one side but not on the other one. Okay, which pin is keeping us? Okay, that's better. First one is still loose. Second is set, it seems. Third should be set. Fourth feels like it might be binding. Fourth or fifth, I'm not sure. Okay, let's try number five. And now number four. Three. Two. No, one is not binding yet. Something else is. One is usually the last one. Must have overset something. And my guess is that there are serrations in there. The other side picks easier, but that one gives me trouble sometimes. Okay, might be all right, just number three now. Okay, and now it feels kind of full set, but at the stop it's not hard as you would feel if it's a pin, but it kind of springy mushy, so it's now binding on the other side, I guess. So let's turn it around and see if I can pick the other side. I'll remove this tensioner 
so that it doesn't drop and cause all kind of bad, bad things. Now on this side the key pin is made out of two, which is very confusing. You see the top side, top part of it, and you see, oh well, I see the shear line, it has to be set real deep. But actually, <laughs> wrong. Let's see. Springy, three, springy, four. Okay, core rotation. Full set. Deeper full set. I think it's number two now. dropped something. Ah, usually it opens so fast and on camera it doesn't want to open. And now see the other side is open too so when I turn the tensioner here it turns both cores so yeah LK2 from Flumpaloo picked now let's see what's inside here is the tape that is not supposed to be removed and I haven't looked at it yet Oh, let's have a look at the keys. So here is the long side, quite flat except of the first one which is a bit higher. And what's here? A bit similar bitting. I guess they are both factory made. Um, I guess I will try to see what's here first. Do not open, let's set it aside. And let's see what's hiding. How are those cores connected? I'm really curious to see that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there is some fancy mechanism there, but no, just a piece of tape. All right, let me get the follower. And everything. And let's see. How do I get it out? Oh, yeah, clips, right. Clips are still there, of course. Okay, now that the clips are gone. We can slide out the core number one. And what do we have here? One, two, looks like 
Uh, no, they are not all standard. I just wanted to say they are standard. And I was proven wrong. In the core there is nothing special. Strange, it felt like there is a, some modification. Let's see. That's some... Is it a Sparrow's check pin or is it a homemade? Might be Sparrow's check pin. Those are standard. And where is my follower? Let's see, I guess I will do it this way. <laughs> how now? How do I get rid of this stuff? Okay. Piece of something. One made of two pieces, two, three, four, and five. Also no mod to the core. That's also sparrows. That looks like a driver used instead of a key pin. Same as here. All right, let's have a look what's, what drivers do we have? Okay. Are they all just sparrows or is there something serrated? Okay, no, it's also homemade and not homemade. Check pin. What is that? A spool? Yeah, I don't know which way it went. Also check pin. And another check pin. Let's see if the springs are special. Short spring had to be one. Different springs. Huh? What is that? I have no idea what is that and where it does come from. No idea, really. Oh, okay, that was number four. And that's spring number five. I'll have to ask him where does this come from. Okay, and the other side. Spool. And a short spring. Check pin. And another spring. He likes check pins, this guy. Well, he did say it's not a proper challenge lock according to the rules, just something he thought. 
Should be fun. Kind of goblet. And the last one. Come on out. That's just normal Abel spin. So for the fairly standard pins used, it was quite nice pick, I must say. So let me get this last spring out if I can. If I cannot, I'll just leave it where it is. And yeah, quite an interesting idea on the challenge lock and a close up on the pins. Here you go. Hope you liked it and more challenge locks incoming. Thank you for watching.